Anyway, everybody's back. Yeah. All your favourites. Some of your favourites. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Matt Murdock. Matt Stick. Murdock's friend, Foggy, Mur- Foggy, Foggy Murdock, Foggy Murdock, Foggy Nelson, Colleen Karen, Wing. Colleen Wing, <laughs> Stick is back, you're right, uh, Madam Gao is back, uh, Rosario, Macu- Rosario Dawson's character, Claire, she's back, Turk Barrett is Turk back, Turk Barrett's back briefly, baby, <laughs> yeah, Josie's uh, back, Misty Knight is back, yeah, that's all the characters that we know and love, they're back, <laughs> Got him. Bloody got him. By his absence, we bloody got him. God. They meshed really well in the sense that we got their personalities from their own individual series and then we got to see them get together and yes. clash. Which So we got Iron Fist being like, I'm Iron Fist, I'm... I'm, uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, uh. Right? But then he gets some pushback from some, from some actual characters as opposed to a whole bunch of enablers that he had in his own series. Absolutely. We have Jessica Jones and Luke Cage specifically being like, Stop whining, idiot! And I think, in <laughs> retrospect, I think I think they have listened to the fans in that. In but that's that. the thing. This was, was this mostly filmed? done before Iron Fist. Oh, really? So this was kind of a natural progression. Okay. But I thought that was some of my favorite stuff. Stick calls him a thundering dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> which I really enjoyed. I think it plays better than than they expected because people didn't like him so much. Yeah, that's because there's probably true. not as much of it as we think there is. Yeah. And I don't think that's down to Finn Jones being a bad actor. No, I think he's fine. Like, I'm, in the sure role, we discuss- yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'm yeah. sure we discussed it last time, but it's not. It's just that they they wrote the character wildly and consistently all the time, and they gave him, as we learned last time, you know, 15 minutes of to learn the co- the fight scene choreography for a scene coming up. Yeah, and he's not a. That's the thing. He's not a martial arts guy. No, but neither was. Keanu Reeves before he signed on for The Matrix. That's you know? true, yeah. You know, Keanu got time and he got good choreographers and he got good martial arts instructors and good editing and what have you. I don't know whether they did this on purpose or whether it's what I'm reading into it. He's not a good fighter comparatively to the other defenders. He gets beat up by all of them. No, I don't think, maybe not just... Why are we talking about Iron Fist? Iron Fist, Is this yeah. just going to be a criticism of Iron Fist the whole time? Potentially. Yeah. But he fought, He has a one-to-one fight with Daredevil and he gets the shit kicked out of it. It's true. Like he should he should he not be a better fighter than Daredevil? He really should. I mean, yeah. Daredevil's a brawler. Iron Fist is like finesse and kung fu. But Daredevil fu and... also knows a lot of kung fu. Yeah, like but da- but Daredevil well, wasn't... using kung fu is the generic sense. <laughs> sure, yes. But like Daredevil wasn't hit with sticks since he was twelve until he was good at kung That's, fu. That's yeah. Like they didn't build him correctly in his own season. Yeah, he should have been a guy. That, it started out promisingly where. He goes, he's, he's attacked by some security guards that want to detain him and he just sweeps them aside like they're nothing. Yeah. And you go, okay, this is going to be that character. Like, you have to be supernatural to even stand a chance against him. But then they didn't do that. And no. he was having trouble just fighting one guy in a truck or whatever. And that's what's happening now. Like, he'll get beat up until he decides to summon the Iron Fist. Just use the Iron Fist if all the time. If he even can, though, because sometimes he can't. And then he'll, like, clear a room and that'll be the end of yeah. the fight. It should just be him just swatting. But that's the thing. Like, it's not like, oh, well, he, he was in a situation where you could do that. Right, a situation where you can just... Yeah. It should be a scene where he's trapped on one side of a door and the rest of the defenders is tra- trapped on the other side of a door and he's fighting 50 guys yeah. and they're fighting 10 and they're, you know, having trouble because they're trained ninjas and he's just swatting everybody. Yeah. Like it's one punch and everybody's out and he yeah. fights 50 guys in the time it takes him to, you know, take out 10 and then the door's open and he's like, I did it. I did it. Exactly, right? You could do it off screen. You could do it off screen, it's fine. <laughs> in... in his own series, Iron Fist, did two things. He had he constantly talked about encountering a dragon <laughs> in the mystical city of Kunlun, and also he constantly had flashbacks, none of which were as interesting as him fighting a dragon. No, absolutely not. Why wouldn't that be the only thing I'd think of? But he's such a thundering dumbass. Oh, if you absolutely don't mind me saying sure. so. Everything has been building up to this because he's the one who can open the door under New York City, which leads into a room filled with dragon bones that the hand want to remove to make them immortal. But in doing so, they're also foundations of the city, which means the city will collapse. Yep. That's horseshit. Come on. Like, like that's it, really? Yeah. But underneath the dragon bones, there's also a giant turtle. (laughs) So New York is on dragon bones and then a turtle. What's under the turtle? Um, a pea. <laughs> okay. A mattress and then a pea. <laughs> so you be careful because if the turtle wakes up because he feels the pea, the whole city's going to collapse. Yeah. Why did he let? Why did he open the door? He knew he was there to open the door. They were like, we need your iron fist to open this door. And he's like, I'll never do it. You can't make me. And then he does it. 
He just punches the door. Well, Electra makes him punch the door. But surely, read, just don't read use the, the iron, play, you dumbass. Just don't use the Iron Fist. <laughs> exactly. Mm. If you build a character who's not very good at fighting unless he uses the Iron Fist, <laughs> and then you put him in a situation in which he has to fight well, then he's going to use the Iron Fist and then he's going to open the door. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Also, what do you think of Electra's costume? I hated it. It was all right. Okay, fine. Red and leather and what yep. do you want from it? More more silks. More silks, exactly, <laughs> okay. yes. More silks and bandanas. Mm-hmm. Wow, what a what a journey this, this video was. We we're glad that you watched it. And Mason has something to say. He's got a secret message for you. Oh no, I've got to come up with a secret <laughs> message. The moon landings were faked. Right. But there's a twist that I'm thinking of right now. They painted Mars white. <laughs> <laughs> they landed on Mars instead. Yep, that's the twist. You know what I mean? You can't you can't shoot for the moon. It doesn't shoot, work. Shoot for the Mars. You have to shoot for the Mars. That's how it goes. <laughs> and leave a like. <laughs> if you could leave a like. And comment with your favourite conspiracy theory. Whatever it is. 